Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. We are still at CES unveiled and we're taking a look at a brand new Android phone from Curio. Yes. That's what it is. Curio, yes. And we've been in the kids' tablet space for a couple of years. We've had a lot of success. What we tried to do in kids' tablets was understanding younger and younger kids are getting access to the internet and getting tablets. What, can, what kind of tools can we give parents to keep the kids safe? Make sure when they're using it, they're using it appropriately. They're able to do everything they should be able to do, but they don't get themselves in trouble. And that's really what we did in tablets. It worked. Now we're doing it for phones. So with phones, you get to add a whole bunch of features that aren't necessarily available in the tablets because now you have a cellular service. So now when you're talking about here, parents can actually go to the computer mm -hmm. and log on and control the kids' access to the phone. So for example, parents can set up. Parents can set up text alerts, for example, and so here's a big one in my house. I'm running out of batteries. Dad, I'm running out of batteries. Automatically, when you're a 10% battery, parents will get an alert. Nice. If the kid turns the phone off, you'll get an alert. <laughs> if the kid presses this button six times really fast, which means they're having a panic situation, you get an alert. The other things you can do, you can set up emergency contacts. You can authorize contacts, and this becomes a big, a big, really big issue for young kids. If you talk about seven, eight-year-olds, they probably only really need to contact a limited amount of people, their friends, some family. Kids can go ahead and add a contact, but the parents have to approve it before they can interact with the contact. Applications, this is a big one, because you get a lot of fights with your kids about, turn that off, it's late, I don't want you on the phone anymore. Well, for example, you can take certain applications, restrict them based on the calendar. So for example, after nine o'clock, Monday through Friday, no Gmail, it will literally turn off. You can't actually, or Snapchat, or whatever it may be that is your child's uh, favorite. You can set up geofencing. So for example, you can set up a, your house, a block, your town. When the child leaves that shaded area, you'll get a text alert on your phone. Phone use, you can actually manage. So if you come to phone use, you can restrict the number by day, by week, or by month, the number of phone, minutes, the number of texts, incoming and outgoing. And as well as the internet stuff we talked about, if it's lost. If it's lost, you can actually block the phone, erase the data. You can even have the phone take a picture of where it is and text it to you. So you can try to find it or figure out who took it. So lots of tools built into this phone. That a lot, it's, and it's, it's an Android smartphone. It has Google Play. It lets kids do everything they want to do. But parents now have lots of tools to help them manage that process. Fantastic. So can you tell us a little bit about the availability and the pricing? It'll be available in Q2. It's going to be less than $199 sold as an unlocked phone. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So this was the very first look at the Courier Kids phone. Can I say that it's a kids phone? Yes. And I'm Sasha from Mobile Geese. Thanks for watching.